Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel and another video on how to stay creative from home. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how I do some of my custom jackets. Uh, a lot of my jackets are very pop culture and uh, I'm into comics so that features heavily in my work. I will show you some of the jackets that I have done and that I have in my collection and I will show you how to do your own custom jacket. Also bear in mind that these jackets take many hours to complete and I will just be going through the different stages rather than filming and editing the whole process. So at various stages of my jacket I'll come in and I'll talk about what I have done and where I'm at and what stage it's at. So here's a um, a Dragon Ball Z jacket that I've done. It's, ta it's taken many hours and these sort of jackets tend to go for uh, £500 to £1,000, that sort of price range and they're on real leather jackets as well. So a lot of the time a client will supply their own jacket and they will ask me to do a custom theme of their choice. We'll take a look at this Turtles one that I've done. This is a Ninja Turtles, keeping it traditional. They all have red bandanas on because it's the uh, Eastman Turtles, the uh, creator of the Ninja Turtles. And when they were created, they all had red bandanas initially, turning the turtles into a children's cartoon. That's when they gave them color headbands to make them more appealing and child friendly. But I've gone for that dark Ninja Turtle look. This jacket is based on a Ninja Turtles classic cover. Here is another favourite of mine. I'm a big Spider-Man fan and Venom. Um, this was painted quite recently. You can see I've gone to town on the detail. I've got all the the webbing there and it's based on the um, the actual comic cover the classic Venom number one where he, where he gets his own comic run this is a little mini Venom in the corner uh, Marvel Comics and it says guest starring Spider-Man in that corner and then if you look down here I've also painted in Spider-Man holding his face now in that box I think it says oh no or something like that uh, but I can fit that in there but it still looks cool based on the Hulk cover um, issue 181 so this is a key a key comic for comic collectors and uh, yeah based on a classic cover so another favorite it did take quite a while to do this was a cover up as well so it originally had something else on the jacket which I decided to go on over. So again sticking with the popular culture I've gone with Bart Simpson um, characters and I've given them like hip hop style clothing so I've put the um, Jordans on there, Jordan 4s, some Yeezus top and Bart looks like a bit like 6'9 so he's got rainbow hair gold chains, night trainers on, uh, yeah it's a bit of fun, a bit comical, a bit current with the times, I know that the rapper 6 9 has been released now from prison so that was a short sentence but he's been released due to the coronavirus so he's back out, be interesting to see whether he brings out any more music or whether the snitch um, reputation he has uh, destroys his music career. So this is a Harley Quinn jacket based on a classic Harley Quinn cover. Um, it's a woman's jacket so I wanted to do something quite sexy on there as well. Uh, so just recently been to see the Harley Quinn um, Birds of Prey film and uh, decided to do a Harley Quinn jacket. So I chose a classic cover and you can see it says Harley Quinn on her body which actually makes up the sort of shapes of her body which I thought was quite cool. Women's 
jacket and I've decided to go with uh, Joker this time, a classic comic book cover of the Joker. Um, comic book fans would know this would be the uh, Killing Joke front cover and you can see the sort of detail in, in the face that I've painted in there. Uh, lots of line work, lots of uh, shades. You can see his teeth there, looking quite savage. But yeah, it's a cool cover and I decided to put that on, on this jacket. Also custom customised the sleeve with a couple of Joker cards on the sleeve. <laughs> We have the Jean Grey jacket, which is my latest one that I've painted. Again, on a women's jacket. This is really nice leather, this, this coat. So the jacket itself is worth quite a lot. And uh, you've got a lovely Jean Grey character there with her red hair, her blue and yellow X-Men outfit. And she's doing some sort of mutant powers and she's throwing these rocks, blasting these rocks at you. And I chose to do like the grey rocks because of the grey jacket. So um, it just made sense to have Jean Grey on the jacket. But yeah, it really stands out. The yellow and the um, blue against the grey and the red really pops. So that's all the custom jackets so far that I've painted and I have at home. Um, I do do orders. So any requests, you can get in touch with me and I can get to work straight away on your custom jacket. For my video, this video I'm going to do another custom jacket and I've gone with this brown leather jacket and I'm going with the Wolverine. And I like this jacket because it's got an old man Logan sort of feel to it which would tie in well with the Wolverine character that I'm going to paint. I'm going with the classic cover of Wolverine with his claws out and he's sort of snarling and then you can see uh, the Hulk's uh, reflection in the, in the blades of his claws. I've measured out the space. This was going to be a warrior's jacket, but I'm covering it up. So I'm probably going to use some brown just to paint over the edges. Just hide, hide that. But I use a tape measure to measure these lines here. And I've drawn the shape um, of a comic front cover. And it's all should be roughly the same size all the way up. So the next stage, I'm going to lay down a white base coat cover us this old sketch up and cover these side bits up yes yeah, so I used the acrylic white and just uh, watered it down to get this uh, base color for the the cover of the comic and I just used a bit of this uh, Angelus Angelus English tan brown to do over the sides here where there was a bit of the characters showing you can hardly tell now, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to run over it with a heat gun and then start sketching. So I've almost finished the um, sketching stage. That's my reference image. The cover that I'm using is Hulk. 340 with Wolverine and it has the Hulk in the blades so I'm quite happy I've got everything laid out where it should be and I've got the uh, Hulk lettering looking good um, I've done some nice thick blades so that I can draw the Hulk inside so there's quite a lot of space in there to draw the Hulk's face I've also used a tape measure to, to run the pen along the, the edge of the tape measure to get the straight lines.
Right, so we've got the um, base colours down, so we filled out largely most of the areas of the jacket and uh, next we're going to work on the detail. So I've been working on this lettering and I've been using the fine line Posca black and now I'm just using the red to do the cracks in the in the black portion. I find it easier just to use the Posca pens to do the lines as they um, you, you get more control and, and a skinnier line with the Posca pens. So I used paintbrush to paint in the Hulk just to get those really skinny lines and I'm going to use the so I'm going to use the Posca to write the label stuff in here in the boxes. So I've done the Incredible Hulk lettering, I've done the little badge at the top corner and I've started working in some detail into the blades, um, the reflection of Hulk and I've been using a paintbrush to um, get the purple lines down and work some of the white in there for his teeth and the highlights contours on his face. So we're getting there with the detail. Once I've done the, the Hulk detail, I'll move on to the uh, Wolverine's face detail and then the body and then we're nearly done. So the jacket's complete now, done all the detail, done around his eyes, done his teeth, done the detail in the um, blades. So the purple, I used a paintbrush to do the purple lines because I didn't have a purple paint pen. Uh, to do the red around his eyes, I used a red fine line Posca. To do the black around his mouth and his teeth, I used a fine line black Posca and to do some of the strokes on his shoulders and his glove and um, this was all done in black fine line Posca so it's a combination of black fine line Posca and paintbrush got the line work there it's all complete now looking fire So just to go over the uh, process, I would have treated the leather first, so I would have wiped it down with um, nail polish remover to remove the uh, sealant on the leather, and then I would have undercoated this section or portion of the jacket with a white acrylic. Then I would have sketched out the design freehand um, of the comic cover. And then I would have laid down the base colours and then final stage I would have added the detail on top of the base colours so that's all the line work that you can see or the um, the pen work what we do here is go back 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 back
Well, here we have it. The finished piece. Incredible Hulk cover 340. It's a classic. You've got Wolverine there with the blades out and you can see Hulk's reflection in the blades. Pretty pleased with how it turned out. We've come to the end of the video. I've produced a custom jacket. I've shown you the stages. So you're ready to go off and have a go yourself. Um, it's not going to be easy. Um, obviously you have to have some level of artistic skills and training to be able to draw freehand on, onto a jacket. But um, if you're lacking the artistic skills, you can use a projector if you're not so confident with your drawing skills. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Peace.